August 6th, 1945. The United States dropped Little Boy, one of two atomic bombs, onto the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Roughly 80,000 people, the majority of whom were civilians, were killed by the blast and the resultant firestorm. Three days later, on August 9th, Fat Man, the second atomic bomb, was dropped on Nagasaki, killing an additional possible 70,000. Two entire cities gone in the blink of an eye. The decision to drop the atomic bombs to cause such a massive and sudden loss of life and property was not one made lightly. In order to be a strong and effective leader, he or she must be able to handle the stress of making a decision in the heat of the moment. Hindsight is also a consequence after the decision has been made. It's easy for historians to peer over and dissect the decision years after it was made. A strong leader does what he or she knows is right, regardless of how the history books will treat him or her years down the road. President Truman may have had an inkling as to the backlash he would receive. It's only natural with the world-changing destruction the atomic bomb introduced. What he held above that, however, were our boys sent off to fight and die, and the civilians caught in the crossfire. He decided to end the war early, no matter the cost. The Allies were fighting a costly war in the Pacific, and had just finished an equally costly war in Europe and Africa. The 82-day-long Battle of Okinawa alone cost the Allies 12,000 lives, and the Battle of Tarawa cost the United States 3,000 lives in just a 72-hour period. For the United States, the Pacific War had cost over 100,000 lives, with many more wounded or captured. President Truman was aware of the next step required, and of what it would cost. Operation Downfall. Operation Downfall was the proposed invasion of the Japanese mainland and was anticipated by the Japanese. As a result, they had set up heavy fortifications along the projected attack path. This meant every inch of land the Allies would take would be paid with blood. Estimated casualties for Operation Downfall vary wildly, but conservative estimates stated for a 30-day campaign the United States would lose over 30,000 lives. Another projection for the entire conquering of mainland Japan would cost the United States upwards of 800,000 lives. However, President Truman was aware of an alternative, and faced with these estimated casualties, there is no other choice. A leader has to make a decision in the moment, and frequently hindsight reveals other options the leader could have taken. A strong leader weaves into the decision the current dilemmas and the ethics of the action required to overcome the obstacle. In this case, almost immediately after the bombings, criticism was lobbed towards the government in its decision to conduct the bombing. A good leader has to make an uncomfortable or an unpopular decision with the resources that leader has at that time in order to overcome a particularly daunting obstacle. Truman had to wrestle with the ethics of annihilation. Should the Allies send hundreds of thousands of young boys to die in the mud? Or should the president give authorization to drop the atomic bombs on two cities? Number-wise, the singular atomic bombing of either Hiroshima or Nagasaki was lesser than the firebombing of Tokyo. Truman had to struggle with the decision of waging a long and bloody invasion, or swiftly ending the war with the show of the bomb's force. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war, in order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young Americans. President Truman did not want to send our boys to die at the hands of an unrelenting enemy. He did not want hundreds of thousands of young lives, not to mention the additional hundreds of thousands of Japanese soldiers and civilians to be stamped out. The alternative was little better. However, a hundred thousand weighed against a million is a difficult decision. Truman and the others involved in the decision-making process demonstrated tremendous leadership during one of the darkest times in modern history.